Hi guys, it's nighttime when I'm filming this, so the lighting isn't incredible right now, but we're gonna work with it. Um, this vlog is going to be in response to my last vlog, which was asking you guys if you wanted me to talk about astrology a little bit. And thank you guys for giving me your opinions. Most of you guys were really interested, but even if you aren't interested in astrology, that's totally cool too. But I do wanna say, before I start this video, I mean, you obviously know by the title of this video, which has astrology in it, that that's what I'm gonna be talking about. If you don't believe in astrology and you don't, you know, enjoy hearing about it, then you totally don't have to watch this video. Just like anything, obviously, if a topic doesn't interest you, we don't all have to have the same beliefs. Um, and that's what makes us different and unique and be able to have intellectual conversations. I personally have always felt connected to astrology from finding out just my sun sign I really kind of was like I connect with this and I wanted to dive deeper into astrology so if you don't believe in astrology and you're going to leave some kind of a negative comment being like astrology isn't proven at all and nothing based on fact you don't have to watch this video <laughs> but I would love for you guys who want a little bit more information and also share my love of astrology which is so much more than knowing your sun sign to watch a little bit of this video now I am by no means any more educated on astrology than probably just an average person who has an interest in astrology so I don't think I'll ever really be making astrology videos that are educational but I will be recommending to you guys in this video my favorite youtubers that I've come across for monthly horoscopes and for information on your Sun moon rising sign all of these things there's a lot of kind of like initial things that I want to talk to you guys about that I have found out about astrology. So basically knowing your sun sign, which for example, I'm a Virgo. We, I think we can all pretty much know a lot of the signs. Knowing your sun sign is probably like reading the first chapter in the book of your personal astrology it might only be reading the first page in the first chapter it's knowing a little bit and it's knowing like the start but there's so much more to astrology than your particular sun sign which is so like fascinating because once i found out that there was so much to find out and read about i like i can't even tell you guys how much time i spend just watching astrology videos reading just kind of like getting more information because i it's so fun for me and I love it. So I would say if you do have an interest in learning more about your personal astrology, um, the most important and fascinating and cool thing that you can do is getting your birth chart or getting your natal chart, which you can do for free online. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. All right, you guys, so all you're gonna do is Google Cafe Astrology Birth Chart. Uh, you don't have to use this website, you can just Google like get my birth chart, get my natal chart, um, but this is how I originally found mine, and the things you're going to need to know for this are your date of birth, which you probably will know that, what time specifically you were born at. It's best if you literally know the exact minute you were born, so you might need to dig into your birth certificate if you don't know this, and then lastly, the city that you were born in. So, I'm gonna go quickly go ahead and put in my information. My birthday is coming up on Tuesday, so. I'm just gonna say 11 o'clock because I actually don't know down to the minute that I was born. I would have to kind of like ask my mom for that, but don't worry, it's still gonna be pretty accurate but it's obviously best if you can get the exact minute but definitely make sure you're putting in the correct hour of time that you were born i was born in boston massachusetts all right and then i'm gonna put in okay so you are going to see i'm not gonna read this all to you guys because you would be bored but my natal chart this is my full natal chart it is going to tell me my planet positions, my ascendant, my houses. You might be confused by what all of this means. I still don't know everything, but once you start to scroll down, you're gonna read about you know your personal birth chart and your sun sign, your moon, everything. So seriously, I mean, look how long this is, you guys. You really can dive deep into this. So I encourage all of you guys to do this, and it's so fascinating, in my opinion, to read about yourself and all of the different 
different aspects of your chart. I would say the most important things to know are what your moon is in and your rising sign. Now from what I can explain about these in like maybe one to two sentences is your moon sign is kind of like your emotions and how you love and how you are in relationships. Um, my moon is in Pisces and um, you can look up what your moon is in and then your rising sign is how you appear to other people So it might be other people's first impression of you your rising sign is gonna be different Like not every Virgo is gonna have the same moon and rising sign It's gonna all be different and depending on your personal birth information Which is why astrology is so freaking cool to really look into this So now once you've done that um, that would be I think the first thing that would be really cool for you guys who are interested in learning more now probably a lot of you guys are already watching this video and you're like girl i've been reading my natal chart for years um so you probably are already really familiar i don't think you should like run your life by the basis of astrology and you should like let these things impact you too much i don't think let me let me get into something really quick astrology is so much more and so different than just like a daily horoscope honestly i don't recommend many daily horoscope apps whatsoever the only one that i would recommend to you guys that is accurate is called astrology zone um it's the full name is susan miller's astrology zone susan miller is one of my favorite astrologers she's pretty cool um and she has her own app like i said called astrology zone now i believe it is free to get and you can read like a mini so like a paragraph, a mini daily horoscope, and then her monthly horoscopes. That is my absolute favorite thing about this app. So let me show you guys. I have an astrology folder on my phone, but I've deleted stuff. And the only two I really see myself using and keeping are astrology zone and time passages. So I'm going to talk to you guys about why I love these both. And these are both free apps for a free daily horoscope that is actually, you know, decently accurate compared to other other horoscope apps I've used um, this is what you're gonna get and you can click the little subscribe now button at the bottom and that's going to be a longer daily horoscope I've usually subscribed in the past right now I'm not subscribing because I'm cool with like getting the mini ones and I can still see my monthly detailed horoscope which is my favorite thing about this app you guys so we're on daily right now but if you click on monthly I just read mine last night but it is so long so detailed you guys i spend you know like 15 20 minutes reading this every month and like i said this is a free app to get now this is just something that i enjoy you totally don't have to like be into reading your horoscopes i personally always read my daily horoscope on astrology zone but i love reading the monthly forecast um and then i also love 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 watching kelly rossano here on youtube she is awesome she has this like fiery red hair i don't know what sign she is i feel like she's maybe like a leo i feel like she's maybe a leo i don't know but um kelly rosano makes content here on youtube and she makes detailed monthly forecasts for every sign every single month and then she also makes a few other videos like she made a video talking about the eclipse and she'll make you know some videos talking about things like that now there are so many people who make astrology videos on youtube and i definitely like watch a lot of different people there's people who do like tarot card readings and things like that so there's so much that you can really get like free information you don't need to really be like paying for an app or any Anything like that you can find all of this stuff for free on YouTube but Kelly Rosano is awesome I'll have her channel linked in the description box her videos can be like anywhere from 15 to like 30 something minutes long sometimes for a monthly horoscope and i actually love it because i'll just sit there and try to really pay attention as best as i can i really like her energy she has like a very kind of like fun cool energy and she, the way she just talks about everything is cool and she really kind of like motivates you to get excited about certain things in the month and in the year and just tell you when certain things are happening for your sign now that's going to be broad because obviously there is so there's just so much in every sign for example i am a virgo but i'm on the virgo libra cusp because i'm born at the very very end of the sign virgo so you can actually look up if your birthday is on a cusp or not because you might actually not know that and it's something that i probably didn't know until maybe four or five years ago so i actually have a lot of qualities of libra which is cool i like being on the cusp it's kind of like i'm not because I've never felt completely like 
um, like I'm just a Virgo. I don't know. And that's that's something that's it's like you're not. That's literally only knowing knowing your sun sign. But it's so interesting astrology because you kind of start to see like things about relationships and the types of people that might come into your life. Uh, for example, my boyfriend is always like attracting Virgos into his life. His past girlfriends, um, like his mom, his grandma, they're all like Virgo women. He has a lot of that in his life. Um, for me, I have a ton of Aquarius friends and that's just something that I've noticed over the years. Not like, oh, my only like good friends are Aquariuses because that's not true at all. But like, I love Aquarian energy. Let's really quickly talk about my other favorite astrology app uh, another free app this is super super cool this app is called time passages and what I like to use this app for is again you're gonna put in your birth chart um, and you're gonna get your personal everything and then you can kind of like save people's charts in here I have like my sister I have a few of my friends I have my boyfriend and something that is so cool about this app is once you put in your information you can read about like all of your planets you can read about where the moon currently is like the moon is always changing i think every like two to three days it changes um and you can just read about you know your sun sign your moon sign your rising and your whole chart and the best thing about this app is that you once you have somebody else's information um like you know your significant other or one of your best friends or someone that you're just trying to like i know it's kind of weird sometimes to ask people for this information and they might just be like yo i don't freaking know but like it's really cool to be able to compare your chart with somebody else so I personally when I have somebody new that I'm really really into or like like I did this with my boyfriend at the beginning I got his chart and um, he knows that I did this I didn't like creepily do this obviously because you have to be like hey what time were you born and like what town can you like ask your mom um, and you can compare your charts and literally read everything you can it's so much information but it's really interesting to see kind of like how your charts overlap in all of those different types of things and like how different planets go together and how different planets oppose each other there's so much stuff my friend Layla got me super into astrology and she is probably my my friend that is just like always giving me like more information and she knows everybody's sign she knows everybody's like moon it's crazy she knows so much stuff um but she's really good at like remembering the different things i would definitely like to do a lot more research and read a lot more but yeah you can read about your relationships with other people you can see different kinds of things like maybe this is why your friend is the way that they are or why somebody that you're in a relationship with like and it's not just all about compatibility like you can really be compatible with anyone if you guys' energies go together and two signs might be com might it might say you know that they're compatible or that they're not compatible but you you could be this sign and somebody could be another sign and you guys are perfectly compatible so that stuff doesn't really matter too much although i always kind of like looking into it and um my boyfriend is also an earth sign so it's kind of like nice to be with someone who is you know on your same wavelength there's earth signs air signs water signs and fire signs guys there's so much information and um i obviously in this video it would take me like an hour to talk about everything that i really want to talk about but i wrote a few things down that i wanted to say just like my apps and that i wanted to recommend kelly rosano to you guys as well as susan miller i don't susan miller has some content like video content but mostly um her app is iconic astrology zone and time passages i'll have the names of these in the description box um i highly recommend like i said i really don't think that daily i've never connected with any daily horoscope apps um like the red one and then the blue one that are free in the app store i always kind of think like those are bullshit like i never they would just say like really weird things sometimes i'm like why am i even like reading this and it's not like you're gonna base your day off of it but um i definitely connect a lot more with the astrology zone because susan miller is she's actually like an astrologer and her entire life is like being an iconic astrologer who just shares her information like that is her whole career you know what i mean um there's also so much more things such as like mercury retrogrades and different planets like working together and 
like I said, so much information. We just got out of a Mercury retrograde period, and um, you, you guys probably know what a Mercury retrograde is. If you didn't, if you don't, you can literally just look that up and kind of read about it. It would probably be better than me explaining it. But Mercury uh, rules my sign. Mercury rules Virgo, and that means that my sign, at least, I think. <laughs> I personally feel Mercury retrograde is extremely hard. Like for me during that period, it's about a three week period that happens four times a year and we just got out of one maybe like two weeks ago and it makes everything slow down and delays and waiting on people, waiting on approvals for things. Communication is really weird. So for that period, I was, <laughs> I was fucking struggling. And my mom says the same thing to me. And my mom and dad are also Virgos, which is so interesting. We're like a house full of Virgos right now. I was really having a tough time during the retrograde basically. And every day I was just like, I cannot wait until this is over and things pick back up again. And it is so funny because I was waiting on like approval for a couple of videos like um, for two videos that had just been they had been done they were waiting and I waited the entire mercury retrograde period and then right after it like two days after it everything finally got approved and was ready to go live and it's like it took three weeks you know what I mean like that whole time it was just nothing was moving everything was so slow and so um, there's a lot more you can read about a mercury retrograde that we're gonna have our next one right before Christmas. It'll be over before Christmas, thank God. Um, but during the holiday season, there's gonna be a retrograde, which I'm not excited about. But um, some some of them are better than others for me. They're not all horrible. It's not like I'm like, stop my life and I stop doing things, because you can't do that. But you just notice um, that things are really like moving slower and things just like, your car might break down and just little, little things like that. That's basically the, the few topics that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about initially. Um, we'll see how this video goes over with you guys. I would love to start a conversation in the comments. If you watch to this point, you probably care a lot about, about astrology um, or you're just very interested because I talked a lot in this video, but definitely go on Cafe Astrology. I will have the link to that in the description box as well, where you can put in your birth chart. And I know we don't know this stuff a lot of the times off the top of our head and you have to like text your mom and be like mom I need to know what time I was born exactly but I'm telling you get that information and take a picture of it or something or like save it in the notes tab on your phone because um, it's important if you're trying to you know like access your chart and if, if you watch this whole video and you're like mm, still don't care don't believe in astrology Thank you for watching to this point. Um, and that's totally cool. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, a lot of my friends just are not, like a lot of guys I talk to don't even like know their signs. Or, and some people just don't look into it and some people don't care to connect with it or don't care to like try to believe. Some people are very anti-astrology. Like I've had some people that are just like, that's such fucking bullshit. I cannot believe that you like, you know, would believe that like the planets like are in charge of things and it's not even it's not even that the planets are in charge of things it's just kind of like hey uh this is something that you can choose to get information on and like explore and read about and just feel if you feel a connection to it or if you don't i really really believe that so many things in life like spirituality religion um, astrology, just different beliefs are something that you just feel personally connected to and people choose, what is my hair fucking doing? Pe sorry, I'm messing with it. People choose to be, you know, interested in and believe in whatever they want to believe and whatever they feel a connection with. And um, I definitely have always felt this way about astrology. And um, like I said, I have so much more I could look into. I would love to take like an actual astrology class and um, get just even more information because I know a lot about my, you know, my own personal chart. I don't know so much about like other signs and other charts. So yeah, now I'm just like rambling on and on and on. So we're gonna end this video because I'm honestly 
like out of breath from talking so much. I filmed another kind of like day in my life, just vloggy video last week that I will upload after this, but I wanted to get this one up first because I remember talking to you guys about this and you guys were pretty excited about it. So thanks for putting up with the weird lighting in this video. I know it's like yellowy and like peachy in my room right now, but um, it's late at night and I didn't feel like setting up my lighting and all that stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next vlog.